Welcome at NEV 2018. I'm at the Western Digital Stand with Matt from GTAC, and we're going to look at some cool new products they presented at NEV 2018. Red Shark News at NAB 2018 is brought to you by Atomus. Unlock creativity. Black Magic Design, amazing solutions for film, post-production, and television. G Technology, the go-to drives for creative professionals. Frame IO, the collaboration platform for video teams. So I'm here with uh, Matt from uh, G Technology. Well, Matt, tell me, this is a Western Digital stand. It's different than last That's year. Right. Yeah. So you know, this year we're doing something a little bit different at G Tech. We're actually a part of a bigger company, Western Digital, and Western Digital has got a ton of great tech. There's actually only a couple companies that have more patents and technology than Western Digital does, and that's Google and Apple. So we're here to show off some of the cool new technology we've ripped from great parts of our company and put into some awesome GTEC products. Okay, so tell me about it. These are the new products, right? Yeah, actually we're going to start over here. Okay. So we introduced this product last year at IBC, but it's going to lead into some of the new stuff we're doing. And basically this was the beginning of a new design for us. And so what we're doing is we're, we're creating a series of SSD products that have this really cool aluminum core to keep sustained right performance up. This one's USB-C Gen 2. What we've done is we've introduced a brand new product which is using Thunderbolt 3. Same idea, super rugged enclosure, really cool aluminum core to keep the temps down and the speeds up. But this will give me a sustained read speed of 2,800 megabytes a second and a write speed of about 2,200 megabytes a second. And as far as I know, and we need to do a little bit of checking here, but I think this is the fastest portable SSD on the market. So is it the same, uh, does it have the same size, is it the same storage capacity as the ones, the small ones? That's a great question. So we're, we're announcing today the, the version that has 500 gigs and one terabyte. The two terabyte is in the works, we're, we're still cooking that one up. Yeah. And so that'll come out a little bit later. Okay, so it's mostly about uh, just speed? for these ones, right? That's right. So this one is, is uh, all about the performance, but it's also about its rugged design and the really cool sustained performance you get with that aluminum. Yeah. So this is a great portable device that'll give you that, that performance that'll give you up to 2,800 for reads, which is awesome for people shooting red, doing 8K, 4K, stuff like that. Yeah. Okay, so next. So my next product is, uh, is called the G Drive Pro. And the G Drive Pro is like uh, any of the other G Drives we've made. Uh, on the back, we have two Thunderbolt 3 ports, and so you can daisy chain this. But inside is a, is a very special enterprise-grade SSD. And so where a, a traditional SSD has a, a lifespan measured in terabytes written, and they go up to typically about 500 terabytes written before their lifespan ends, this goes up to 14,000 terabytes written. And so basically you get one drive write per day, so the capacity of the drive per day written to it, uh, for five years, and that's that's the lifespan of the drive. So this is awesome under an iMac Pro, just doing hard video editing all day, writing and reading from the drive. This is going to last a really long time. Okay, and the last one you have. Yes. This so looks this like a shuttle. Is one of my favorite products. I love all my babies, but this one is actually my favorite. So the D Speed Shuttle SSD also announced today. Uh, this will actually be shipping first on on the 16th of April. You'll be able to get your hands on this. This comes in either eight terabytes or 16 terabytes. Uh, we have got eight SSDs inside. And so in the past where we would have one three and a half inch drive, we now have eight two and a half inch SSDs. 2,800 megabyte a second reads, 2,800 megabyte a second writes. Uh, I can always update this later to have higher capacity SSDs. We're also making available EV bay adapters. So anyone that's using our red uh, camera workflow, using our, our red readers, can, can insert that straight in here with a little bit of a tweak as well. So this is my modular box that has redundancy and RAID, uh, and it's also incredibly fast on the rides. So uh, what about weight? Is it lighter than Absolutely. the previous? Yeah. So our Shuttle XL uh, is a very, very heavy drive. Uh, I believe this comes in, in in the 30 30 or so pound range. The, the four bay, which is hard drives, is 16 pounds. Um, and I believe this is just under 10. So it's a, it's a much lighter weight to travel with. Yeah, because these are meant for location work, right? That's right. So the, the entire idea of the shuttle with the handle is to be able to go from a production environment to a post-production environment. We actually also have just uh, just today uh, got a, a brand new Pelican case, which is designed to, to take that and fit yeah. in an overhead bin for yeah. people that need to travel with these drives and get them back home. Okay, cool. So uh, this comes out when? 
So our, our G-Speed Shuttle SSD yep. is available on April 16th, so here in just about a week. The G-Drive Pro, which is available from, from capacities of 960 through 7.68 terabytes, yeah. is going to be available in early May. Yeah. And our G-Drive Mobile Pro, with a 501 terabyte capacity, will be available in June or July. Okay, these are all SSDs. Is this finally the year that like SSD will break through in, in every kind of like... You know, we've got a, a great portfolio of SSDs, kind of starting with our, with our uh, entry-priced version of, of the family. Um, and so from 179 bucks all the way through $7,500, there's an SSD that fits every price band and has all the performance that people could possibly need. So we're really seeing a lot of uh, opportunity for SSD this year, and it's just going to keep getting better. Do you like our NAB coverage? Then make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel.